Over the past 20 years, Arkansas's politics switched from blue as the sky to red as a wagon. But have our ideas and values changed that much during that span? In a Fox 24 special report, our Andrew Epperson tells us why one University of Arkansas professor says it's not so. Someone visiting from out of state might assume we've always been a Republican stronghold, but think about these names. Bill Clinton, J. William Fulbright, Dale Bumpers, David Pryor, all Democrats with significant influence. So how did things change so dramatically, so quickly? A U of A professor says she knows the answer. If you live in Arkansas, you know what many say about the state's politics, about as red as you can get. It appears that in many ways, uh, Arkansans have kind of finally gotten the message of what the parties look like nationally. Uh, and so our state politics have shifted to kind of match up. Janine Perry is a political science professor at the University of Arkansas and the director of something called the Arkansas Poll. Once a year, uh, we do a sample of about 800 people, adult Arkansans, and we ask them about politics and policy. The most recent Arkansas poll shows the state is turning redder. It doesn't really seem to be much about the issues as it is about brand. Perry's colleague, Andrew Dowdle, teaches about the history of campaigns and elections. He says Democrats dominated Arkansas until the 2010s. You can look at former Democratic Senator Mark Pryor, who served for more than a decade as an example. When he runs for re-election, does not have a Republican opponent because the thought was that any Republican who ended up running against Pryor would end up losing by such a large margin. Just six years later... Tom Cotton, who was still in his first term as a member of the House of Representatives, ends up beating uh, Pryor by a pretty significant margin. Senator Blanche Lincoln served for more than a decade, too, before then-Representative John Bozeman ousted her in 2010. But Perry says those outcomes aren't because voters' values changed. Instead, she says national influence started seeping into the state. A lot of funding and television ads that say, hey, Arkansas, you're actually Republicans. And it appears that finally our population has, says, has said, oh, <laughs> I guess we are. Perry describes it this way. Picture Arkansas voters as a football player. For years, the athletes on the blue team, but then switches to play for the red team. Same player, there's just a different uniform. And what you have is those people who've always been conservative um, are now recognizing and aligning with the party that is conservative. Republican State Senator Bob Ballinger says his party now controls a super majority. Big issues, the things that people are focused on nationally, the, the things that, uh, that you check off as what does it mean to be Republican or Democrat, those things have changed. But 80 percent of what we do in the legislature is not those things. And those things are pretty much kind of the, the way they always have been. Perry's poll shows the most important issue for Arkansans is the economy. And the state's leanings haven't notably changed over time. When you look at our preferences on guns, our preferences on abortion, our interest in really more bread and butter issues like the economy and education, our preferences on those things haven't changed a great deal. Democratic State Senator Greg Letting has seen his party's influence in the state shrink, but he's broken the mold. Something he says is easier to do in northwest Arkansas, a place known for being a blue island in a red lake, as Dowdle says. A lot of it, though, you know, it's my first term in the Senate, but I had eight years in the House, and it was just being able to build up institutional knowledge and relationships with lawmakers over that period of time. Letting says the key to winning in Arkansas as a Democrat comes down to working on common ground. I came in. Uh, I did have one term in the majority, but Democrats just kept losing. 2018, that stopped. Uh, so we'll see what happens in 2020. Perry says the numbers don't favor Arkansas Democrats in the near future, and she says there's no indication it's going to change. For the foreseeable future, I think it will see a supermajority um, Republican situation in which Democrats scramble to produce candidates, much as we saw for 100 years among Democrats prior to that. Perry has some advice for Democrats hoping to run for a big-time Arkansas office. Either wait a few decades or focus campaigning in more metropolitan areas like Fayetteville or Little Rock. In studio, Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.